this. The other explanation doesn't require probabilities. Second explanation. The second explanation you don't need does not require probabilities. Bill it tees. By probabilities, I'm going to put the word ghosts, because that's really what we're talking about. It doesn't require ghosts. The second explanation, that's nicer. You don't need to have this ghost probability, and you can still explain the interference pattern and everything else with the second, expl the second explanation, the alternative one. And the mathematics is identical. And it explains all of the experiments, the photoelectric experiment, all the quantum mechanics experiments. And you only, you, 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 everything's real. And the problem with the second explanation is you need an infinite number of universes. So instead of having one universe, you have all these universes. And in each universe, the electron is real and is at a certain point. So in, the, in our universe, it would be here. In our, another universe, it would be here or go through hole A, go through hole B. Another universe, it's here. Another universe, it's here. Another universe, it's here. And when you observe the electron with an experiment, we zoom in on our universe. But the interference pattern is due to the different universes interfering with each other. So the interference pattern is a manifestation of the multi-universe, the fact that there's many worlds. That's, and that's the second explanation, that, that basically what happens is every time you do a quantum experiment, in one universe you get one result, and in another universe you get a different result. And then you don't need probabilities. There's, in our universe, there's only one electron. Right? That electron in our universe is here. In another universe, it's over here. And in another universe, it's over here. And if we're not looking at that electron, all of these universes interfere with each other. And it behaves like a wave. But once you look at it, you zoom in on our universe, and all the other ones disappear. So you can't jump from one universe to another. Because the act of observing, it breaks the, the, the bind, the thing that binds all those universes together. All right? So you, this, I mean, this... This, they say this one has a lot of metaphysical baggage, which kind of makes sense, right? I mean, you need an, you basically you end up with an infinite number of universes. But a lot of physicists think this is probably, think this is the correct explanation. That there are an infinite number of universes. And that when the universes, when you're not looking, all the universes are interfering with each other. And producing wave properties, interference patterns, that type of thing. But then when you, when you look at it, you do an experiment, you observe the electron, then all the, other, the interaction between this electron and all the, other uni, all the other universes, it ceases to exist. Okay? So by looking at it, you break the, the bond between the universes. The universes are, bond, are all kind of interfering with each other, combining, when we don't look at them. But then when we look at them, we zoom in on our universe. So you know, an interference pattern, which you can do by... I mean, you can, if you put your fingers really close together and you look at a light, you can actually see a small interference pattern. That pattern is either due to all of these in universes interfering or our, our universe being full of ghosts. I don't know which you prefer. Both are kind of bizarre. This one says nothing is real unless you look at it. So if you're not looking, you don't have reality. You have reality by looking. So you look, and you create reality. This one says, there's no ghosts. There's just an infinite number of realities. And all those, all those realities are interfering, and that's what produces the interference pattern. So this one, you don't need the ghosts. Everything's real. It's just that there are an infinite number of real universes. And those universes, when they interfere, they produce interference patterns. They produce wave properties. And when you look at them, you zoom in on our universe and everything else, the connection all breaks.